I'm looking for a few good men and women of every race, color, creed, religion who want basic freedom. You want a Bill of Rights, a Constitution, you want to be able to stand on your own two feet and be treated like a human being, then you want freedom. You want to be a slave, then sign up with the New World Order because I've studied history, I've studied current regimes. There ain't nothing, and I mean there ain't nothing worse than the New World Order. Nothing nastier, nothing smarter, nothing more vicious, more murderous, more committed than the globalist. And if the general public could just wrap their brains around this, why do you think they're in the news now saying Russian troops are going to be in America? They always did these drills before. And then if we tried to cover it and even had video, they'd have their talking heads and bots come out and say we were crazy. They call them their megaphones, their sock puppets, fake online profiles. They'll have them in this post. We put this on YouTube later tomorrow, you know, saying none of this exists or that it's no big deal. Because they're there to just acclimate you where, okay, yeah, they have Russian troops. See, first it's TSA in the airport, then they're on the street, then they're at the football game. And then now it's TSA everywhere and all over the country. You film police, they walk over, go, why are you filming me? Well, I'm just documenting what you're doing. Put your hands behind your back. They put you in handcuffs, slam your head in the concrete. Your dog jumps out of the car, they shoot it. It's because you are an enemy soldier. And basic military training is an enemy soldier gives you a lip, kick him in the head. Cover up murders, cover up corruption. We have, we are called civilians. Your mayors call you civilians. Your police chiefs call you civilians. They're civilians too, but not really. They'll tell you, we're a paramilitary force. You are civilians because we are under a military occupation. Now, the good news is this is waking up the police. This is an incredible takeover. So a lot of police are going, yeah, this is going on. And a lot of military, especially, they're really waking up. So it's our job to reach out to police and military and, and because the globalists plan to have the police abuse us to then make us get angry and make us act as a hostile force to play into that psychology instead of going over to these guys and going, do you understand what's happening? Do you, do you want the big picture? And you pull back with police and military and show them like I'm doing right now. There's a reason half the military, it was 40% just six months ago, half the military I walk up to and then I talk to them, our listeners, and then they'll tell me either 90% of their union uh, unit or 30%, but it's always about half are awake and know what's going on and are upset and listen to the show. Why? Because I talk about things they know are true. I talk about things that they've been part of and didn't understand. They know when they hear this show, I know what I'm talking about. Because I am a veteran of defending the republic for 18 years on air, 20, it'll be 21 years in a few months. Folks, I used to hear about there were black helicopters in our town. They blew up the old police station and threatened to kill us if we talked about it. And I'd go down there, there'd be a burnout building and cops asking, you're not supposed to ask questions. I'm like, you mean this is real? I'd be told, oh yeah, they got foreign troops. They're going to practice rounding people up in the town. So I'd go to the events, I'd shoot video of it and have Marines walk over with machine guns and say, turn your camera off. I'd witness them with troops from seven different nations in Oakland, trained for gun confiscation, and admit it was for America on video. Police State 2000, Police State 2, the takeover, Police State 3, total enslavement, Police State 4, the rise of FEMA. I mean, you think this is all just an exercise in baloney? We have the video. And then I was told they were going to have foreign troops, but really it turned out it was probably drug smuggling, the way they acted. I get to Brooksville, Florida. I got to get Mike Hansen back in here. A guy, Raymond Teague used to work me for two years. He worked off and on as a volunteer before that. And in between a better engineering job and they had a bunch of layoffs, he worked for me. Really smart guy. I need to get Mike Hansen in here, who was with me in Florida, in the woods trying to cover military drills. When they had a guy jump out of the bushes that was with them, set fires, I had to start putting out and then had to jump on the guy to stop him. I mean, only, I mean, they were going to burn down Brooksville, Florida and blame it on me.
The day before they got there, we got footage of this. I'm walking down the street. People come out and go, you're Alex Jones? This is a good-sized town. We're not supposed to talk to you. The Army came to our door. And I, I later learned when Marines visited me, <clears throat> popped in the VHS tape that was a screen capture, I guess, off of the digital of myself a year before at Operation Urban Warrior in Oakland, California, and they had a drone over me called Death Star. That was its code name. And they had drones using us, you know, gassing our car up, leaving the hotel, going to cover it. They used us as part of the simulation. When you go protest one of these things or you go cover it, it's a simulation when they break in your hotel room. It's a simulation when they set a fire and say, why are you setting in a fire as they light the grass on fire? I mean, this is so sick. This is so sick. And of course, these Marines weren't supposed to be showing me this. They weren't there to threaten me either. They said, hey, we all got upset about this too. And they showed it to me because they knew some a a family I knew that I'm going to leave it at that. And I said, let me show this. And they said, nope, it's, it, are you kidding? We'd get arrested for this. And they said, goodbye and left. And Mike Hansen was sitting there going, and they're like, Death Star, Death Star, we're over the targets. Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, they had drones on me in 1999. I'm just Alex Jones, man. They're trying to take my guns. I want to show you. But they can't let me show you that because you might wake up. Now they got Russians here. Folks, they've had Russians here for 20 stinking years that I know of. I remember getting calls from England going, they've got foreign troops, including Russians, in Scotland searching our houses, and I didn't believe it. And then it came out in the BBC a year later because the people basically rioted. They had Russian and Ukrainian troops, who are supposedly old enemies, ransacking people's vehicles at highway checkpoints in Scotland. Look it up. As a psych warfare test to see what they would do. I can't tell you, folks, how many people are, are in some remote area of the woods and foreign troops come over, and in some cases, they kill Americans just to see if they can get away with it. And so that's what I'm getting at here, is that they're now telling you about the Russians in, in anti-extremist training last year and earlier this year in Colorado. You know, first it's, oh, they're inspecting our missiles. And then they're inspecting our helicopters. And then, oh, uh, they're inspecting our national security system. And then they're doing, and I'm not saying the Russians are the enemy. The globalists have all the money. They're above all the countries. They've got their operatives in almost everywhere. And they order the ministries to do these things and do exchange programs to where we'll put up with anything. Just like last year, or no, it was two years ago now, the Winter Olympics, in Canada, it was in all their papers that, oh, look, the, the, the Yanks are here helping run checkpoints and run security in the towns outside the Olympics because if Canadians have always been wary of a U.S. takeover. So if they'll put up with Americans doing it and vice versa, folks, this is all public is what's so frustrating. Now, let's go over some of these news articles here. Russia forces, Russian forces to provide security at U.S. events, FEMA signs deal with Russian emergency situations ministry to exchange experts to oversee security events like football games, baseball games, uh, city events. That, that's why I can't go to any major city event now, open air, and not have regular Army, National Guard, State Guard there searching people. I can't go on Lake Austin without watching every boat be pulled over and every kayaker pulled over and harassed. But I got up and stood there with the same body language. I mean, these cops yesterday were just, were just like, just like, like if I was trying to intimidate somebody or like if I was about to get in a fight with somebody, I'd act like this. I mean, just like when you're just bugging their eyes out at you. So when they pulled up behind us, I just stood up, started filming them. I couldn't wait to, to educate them. I couldn't wait because they won't listen now. But when they're dying of cancer in five years, they will. I was talking about the vaccines and things and how pathetic and, and you know how in this system, how am I automatically a suspect 
when they have no evidence to pull us over, everything, you know, blah, 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 how, how this is a violation of the Fourth Amendment, how I know they've been told that waterways are a privilege, they're not, Supreme Court rulings. I was going to educate them. Well, why, when I was a kid, did you not stick your chest out and pull over every boat and bug your eyes out? The truth is you've been given paramilitary training, like this is a Fallujah checkpoint, and that you're in deadly danger of me, when the truth is I'm in danger of you and a tyrannical government, and that's George Washington talking there, buddy. The truth is, are we going to celebrate on the 4th of July this tyranny? I'm not going to celebrate it. How about we mourn? How about we cry? How about we go to the back of a church for six hours and meditate on what we've become? Instead of going out and, you know, going through some checkpoints and celebrating some fireworks they're trying to ban for the citizens to have because we can't be trusted to have them. This is a global corporate total takeover where they're acclimating everyone. Give all our deep water ports in the Pacific and in the Atlantic to the communist Chinese. Give them the Panama Canal. Let Chinese communist front companies have 6,000 companies in the U.S. Pay $21 billion of tax money to move the major new plants. Of we, they didn't just build them there. They, well, you, you paid to move them there. Militarily, they're shutting off all our major power plants. Shipping our jobs, paying to ship them. China's like, we can't take your General Motors plants. We'll pay you $21 billion, the cost of all the plants and the workers for five years. And we can then sell those to America. You bet your boots. We haven't got the robots ready. We want your slaves because they can leverage out all their factories in America. Study military warfare. You blow up their infrastructure, you blow up their manufacturing, you blow up their power plants, you bomb them. Our government is doing that right now. It's bombing everything politically. Everything's being ripped out, shoved into the ocean. Obama's telling people, it's not good to have a nice house or a nice car, that hurts the earth. Getting you ready to think it's sexy to be poor. This is a radical transformation we're now entering. Let me go over more of these articles. Let me show you what this really is. Here's State Department Memorandum 7277, Public Law, Freedom from War. How the U.S. will incrementally lose its entire military along with the Russians, <clears throat> the exchange programs, everything. And I've got the full binder. It's that thick going over all this. I've shown it to you before here on air. And then you find in the news articles, oh, Russian police come over to learn how to American policing. And then our police are sent to them back and forth to where everybody's comfortable with having foreign troops here. Because if you'll put up with that, you'll surely put up with your own so-called police setting up a checkpoint when it's all illegal. Supreme Court rules they can't set up checkpoints to see you exit the highway and then use that as Fourth Amendment to search your car. So they call them April Fool's jokes and go, there was no checkpoint up ahead. Or they have you drop to a checkpoint and say, we're here to take blood, and most people just give the blood. State Department Memorandum 7277. Let's put up the helmet graphic on TV for folks. Go read this. This has been the plan. This is why, this is why everybody warns you about this. Why is there freedom from war? Because only the UN is going to have the weapons. And who set it up? Private corporations. And then again, the UN is above the law with diplomatic immunity run by the big billionaires that control trillions who are exempt from taxes and above the law with diplomatic immunity. Google has diplomatic immunity. Goldman Sachs has diplomatic immunity. British Petroleum has diplomatic immunity. And they fund the Bilderberg Group on record. They're allowed to steal all your data because they are the NSA. But they've got a new movie out called Interns where they're friendly. That's military propaganda. We're working on a story where hundreds of millions are being given to directors covertly for huge propaganda purposes. I mean, folks, if you knew the things we knew that I'm not even really ready to break to you yet, it is a full-on takeover. It is by the grace of God I'm even alive right now. Okay, pray for us. Spread the word about this broadcast. Let me show you the really key document. Let's go to the next one. Arroyo Center. Rand Corporation. This is the Stability Police Force for the United States. It describes UN occupation forces. This is 200 plus pages long. I suggest you go read it. They are advised by the former head 
of national security for the Pentagon, General Jones, and all these other top names. Read it. And I read similar documents. This is just an update of what's been around since the late 1990s when I first read all this, and that's why I knew everything, because it was just admitted. Justification and options for creating U.S. capabilities for stability, police force. This is 7277. This is the Freedom for War multinational corporate U.S. Army Corps. That's at the center of it. Stability International Force. And it says, modeled after the U.N. occupations, and it lists Serbia, Herzegovina, it lists areas of Africa, it lists the Middle East, it lists this. Right now, U.S. troops, this plan's going into full bore, have been sent to northern Israel and southern Israel. U.S. troops have now landed in Jordan and are refusing to leave, and it's not even in our news. It's in Reuters. So-called U.S. forces, they're not. This is under NATO orders and U.N. orders. This is the world government force. You'll still have the military. You'll still have an American patch, but you'll be under U.N. command. That's the plan. Boom. Bada bing. It's done. Go read the Stability Police Force United States. Go read it. We just printed out the summary today around the office. We printed the whole 200-plus page, baby, about a month ago on air. I went through it, and it describes off the U.N. military occupation of a country model, how to do that for the U.S. And again, they've been saying since the 90s, we're going to collapse the U.S., we're going to federalize the police, here's how they'll be federalized, we're going to set the threat fusion centers, we're going to make it spree de corps, where only the elite police are part of the special events team. Then we'll expand that where all the other cops want to be part of it. They'll be given a supplemental federal paycheck. Then that will be swung under U.N. control via FEMA. And now FEMA says we're under the U.N. with the Russians, and the Russians are coming here to run security at events. And they're going to have Russians on the news. Well, I guess I'm glad the Russians are here to search my bag. Why not? You let them stick your hands down your pants. You let them take your five-year-old away and stick their hands down their pants. Why wouldn't they hurt you? I listen to the childlike pathetic weakness of the average American who calls into other talk radio shows, not my listeners on average. I watch them who are just into loving the government and trusting the state and, oh, I take all my shots. I love the system. You are the biggest idiots the world's ever seen. This is a on-record total takeover. And let me tell you, they're getting close to blowing stuff up and blaming it on us and having the whole insurrection and the whole nine yards if they're already rolling out the Russians. They've been here for 20 years. Now they're getting you ready for them. That means they're getting very close to dropping the hammer, ladies and gentlemen. So now we're right again about foreign troops. I've got more documents straight ahead. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. 
And then on top of it, six medium size bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12 month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's gonna be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They wanna collectivize us. They wanna bankrupt us. They wanna drive us into their arms to control us. They wanna dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team.